Now I'm going to show you how you can extend to and create a new function from the person prototype. Let's clean up this or just uh, comment them. So we, I have person and uh, let's say that I want to uh, create a student class which has some additional properties. So I'm creating a function student which has let's say student number just student no and this student no is my student no and I can create let s is new student with student number 10 s so uh, person is absolutely independent class from student and um, I don't need it right now. So I'm just creating a student class and it has uh, only student number, nothing else. And the prototype goes to the student object, which has constructor the student function, and its prototype goes to the object. I want my student has this say hello uh, method, uh, which person has. So um, there are two ways. Um, to add a say hello method to person, uh, right in the constructor like this or in the prototype. So uh, when it comes to the extending um, and creating new um, class from the person, we need to have this in the prototype because we are going to extend the person's prototype. So uh, let me delete this and right like this so now i have my person name and say hello and i want my student to um, has the name property which person has and uh, let's take this name in the constructor okay my student uh, i want my student to has this name property and say hello i'm going to uh, extend a person prototype using object create student prototype equals object create person prototype what this does if you don't remember is that it creates a new object absolutely fresh new object which has reference in the underscore underscore proto to the person prototype on this example my student has this constructor which goes to the student and this constructor property um, is added by the engine itself but now i'm extending student prototype from the person prototype so if i look my student i can see that inside proto it actually has person and person doesn't have constructor anymore that's because this is not fully 100 percent right way of doing this we lost our constructor so and if we write student constructor it founds out to be a person but actually it's a student we lost our constructor we need to recover our constructor so this is uh, really simple just adding student prototype constructor and constructors uh, must be function so our um, student prototype well it's it should be done uh, after function is already defined otherwise it doesn't make any sense uh, let's observe this again Yes, student, person, and in the same uh, similar situation. So um, I'm going to recover my constructor so that S constructor to be a student, not a person. So student prototype constructor is just student function. And that, reco that recovers uh, constructor. Constructor. So it's now student, and that's absolutely correct. Okay, 
Now I want my student to has name property because uh, I extended it from person and person has this name property. So it's obvious that we need to pass this name property to the student because we're gonna um, we want to have it. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call person on this object passing name property. If you don't know how call uh, function call or apply uh, methods or bind methods work, just uh, write comments below. Um, but uh, just in, in two words, a person function will be called and this uh, is a passed as a this binding. So uh, this used inside person is actually this, which is student. So instead of adding to the person, um, the name is added to the student, newly created student. So let's call this. Now student has name and a student number. We don't pass name. We need to pass name here. And student name is zero now and student number is 10. And we fully extended student object from person uh, we even has the say hello method and we can test this student say hello it prints hello from Zura that's it um, I hope uh, you understand now how uh, you can extend from object into another don't lose constructor property uh, which is important in some cases you may need uh, in the code or some code may rely on the uh, constructor uh, property and you don't want to lose this if you like the video click on the uh, like button if you want to see uh, more videos from me click on the subscribe button thanks for watching see you in the next time